Howdy, I'm Jimmy Cordier with Pinion Painting in Prescott, Arizona. We put together some videos of the most common painting questions we get. You're welcome to look at our website or give our office a call if you want some more answers. Thanks for joining us again. One of the most important questions people ask is how do you know when it's time to paint? And when do you call a professional? I guess the, the first indicator of if your home's ready to be painted is, is if it's faded a little bit. So, um, and that's hard to tell if your home is new construction. Let's say it's five, six, seven, eight years old. It's never been painted before. It's just got that original finish on it. That was probably painted with flat paint. So good way to know if your home needs painted. If it's flat, um, throw some water on it. If it gets darker, it's ready to paint. When you've got a painted surface and you put some water on it, it gets darker, that means the water is actually penetrating into that surface. And when that water is going into that surface, it's getting to the wood or it's getting to the stucco. That's going to cause a problem. So if your home already has a satin finish on it, you know it needs painted if it's dull. So if it's lost its sheen, its luster, it's time to paint. So those are the early indications. Um, certainly most people wait a little bit. They wait to see if we've got some massive peeling. Um, they're looking to see, you know, they've got a tolerance level. they got, okay, I got some peeling over there on that side. I don't worry about that. But when the peeling comes around the front, then they start thinking about painting. So you can save yourself a little bit of money. Let's paint that home when it's dull, when it's faded. Paint it before it gets to those peeling stages. Then it's just a simple wash, a little sanding here and there, a little caulking, and then ready for a coat of paint. If you don't let it go too long, maybe you can even get by with one coat. A lot of times we get asked, when's the best time to paint here in Prescott? And it's one of the reasons I moved here. It's probably one of the reasons you moved here. The weather's great most of the year. So today, hey, it's middle of December. We got a bright blue sky. It's going to get to 65 today. We can paint in the middle of December when it's like that. Our paints that we're using today are for formulated to be applied when it's 35 degrees and warming. So what that means is if it starts off at 15 degrees in the morning, my guys are out there at, at daybreak and they're prepping, they're scraping, they're sanding, they're doing some of those things that are not temperature sensitive. They just got a dress warmer. When the temperature gets up to 35 degrees and starts warming, then we can start applying the paint. So this time of year, usually what that means is they're putting paint on at 8.30 in the morning to 9 o'clock and then they're stopping a little bit earlier because we want the paint to be dry before the temperatures start falling. So they're going to stop painting around 3, 3.30, and then paint's got four, five, six, seven, eight hours to dry before the temperature gets below 32 again. So, but the rest of the year, when we've got great weather, my guys can be applying the paint from 7 to 5.30, and that's our typical day. So my guys will show up at 7 o'clock, quit about 5.30, just this time of year when it's a little bit colder, say mid-November to mid-March, we just get shorter days. So my guys are not getting necessarily a 10-hour day, but they're going to get a 9-hour day. Worst case, they'll get a 7- or 8-hour day. And they're happy to do your work at that time of year. Um, we need a dry surface. So um, Arizona's usually dry. It's usually not a big deal. So when we wash a house, we found that 9, 10 months a year, we can wash a house Two or three hours later, we can stick a moisture meter on it that probes into the surface, and it'll tell us it's dry. So um, paint can be applied when it's 18% moisture content. Um, deck surfaces takes a different coating, and they can be applied at 21%. We find here in Arizona that in most cases, we'll do a moisture check three, four hours later, and it is well below 18%. If it's in the heart of spring and summer and fall where temperatures are getting up to 75 to 80 degrees, we can moisture check after pressure washing in a crack in the masonry or into raw wood, and it'll be 0%. I can tell you from Ohio, where I was a painting contractor for 22 years, we would wash a house one day. We couldn't come back for two days. We needed to let it dry for two days. And then you're really in trouble if on the next day it rained, it just bumped that schedule another day. Or if it rained on the second day, we knew we were pushing it back even further. Here, it's a blessing. Um, I really don't have to worry about weather because temperatures are pretty moderate, great sunshine, great wind flow that dries things out, and low humidity. Everything gets really dry. So we can paint pretty much year round. I'm not gonna paint if there's snow on the ground. Um, we can paint on sides of your home where there's no snow on the ground, but for me, snow on the ground is a safety issue. 
My guys are walking around, they got snow on their feet, climbing up a ladder, then they can have a slip and a fall. I don't want that. I know you don't want that. But other than that, as long as things are dry, our moisture content is done and down below 18%, we're good to go. Temperatures warming above 35 degrees and we got plenty of time to put it on. It gets dry before the temperature starts dropping. We're good. Um, another thing to be concerned about is surface temperature. So we all know air temperature. We can get that off of our phones now. We're all using that, checking our phones. We know what the temperature is here, where we used to live, where we're going to be in the afternoon. I'm concerned about what the temperature is right around us, but also I need surface temperature to be good too. So we carry a temperature gun in our trucks and trailers. So our guys are shooting the surface temperature. A lot of times we'll find that surface temperatures are a little bit colder than you think. It might be 55 degrees out, but we're painting a metal rail. That metal rail might still be 45 degrees, too cold for us to work on. Um, we're just gonna wait till it warms up a little bit. Stucco warms up really fast and holds that temperature. So I found years ago when I moved here, we were working on a home and it was 45 degrees out. I'm kind of a sissy. I get cold real easy. I'm standing here, I'm cold. Um, but south side of a home, it was really kind of windy and 45 degrees, totally blue day. I was still cold, but I was wondering. I'm out there painting with one of my guys and the paint moisture is just steaming off the surface. I thought, what the heck? You know, I'm cold. The air's 45. I know it's good enough. The paint's good enough to put on, but the moisture is evaporating off the surface. I can see it. I went out to my truck, got my temperature gun. The surface was reading 145 degrees. Literally, that paint was baking on that surface on a 45 degree day. So those are the things we're looking for, air temperature, surface temperature, and we're all good to go.